it's Saturday morning, which means it is yard sale day. And today we're headed to a couple of community yard sales. I love going to community yard sales, mainly because I don't have to travel here, yonder, there, over the hills and through the woods. We can just park and go from house to house finding goodies. It's almost like trick or treating for adults. Are you too old to be trick or treating? Except we have to pay. Okay, we're here. It's packed. As I like to say, you can't stir them with a stick at the moment. So what we're going to do is park, go to this first yard sale, maybe hop over to a few others, get in the car and drive back down the road. At least that's the plan if I can get down the road. Okay, we're here at the first one. It don't look like much, but sometimes big things come in small packages. Doubt it. Okay, that's, I'd never heard about some of his pants. Beachwell britches? They had five dollars on them. I don't know if that's good or not. So while we're walking to the next one, we're gonna Google it. All right, those britches, or whatever they're called, they wanted five dollars a piece for them. Let's see what sold. Mm. Is that a no? Mm -hmm. All right, so, so far, two yard sales and they really don't have anything. I mean, they had like I know I'm exaggerating. 10, 20 items out. Good stuff's already gone. We're gonna get in the car and go to another street because I don't think I can walk to the next one. There's no sense in walking around. I wanted to pop in really quickly to remind us how much money we have left for the month of May to find items to flip for a profit. And that amount is $200. Okay, I've been to three or four yard sales already. They have nothing out. I, 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 I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. But we're going to park because I see a few more down the street here. And I'm tired of moving my car around, so we're going to do a little walking. Walk around the block. Even if we don't get anything today, we're going to get some exercise. All right, it is 8.22. This started around 8. So we've been at it not even 30 minutes. And we haven't found anything. But it is such a beautiful day today. And, you know, who couldn't use exercise? Walk around the block. Just to give you an idea, see all the cars? There's the yard sale down there, and there's one across the street. And then I think we'll have to get in the car and go down another one. Nope, you cannot stir them with a stick at the moment.
All right, guys, I don't even think this is going to be worth it. This is gridlock. People are frustrated and mad because they cannot get around. Oh, my goodness. I need a drink. And all I have is water. <clears throat> and since I don't drink and only have water, this will have to do. It's like I took the wrong week to quit drinking. That had to be the most stressful neighborhood yard sale I've ever attended in my life. And I've been to quite a few yard sales in my lifetime. And that neighborhood yard sale, no one was really being neighborly. I hate people. Um, one lady very frustrated and I understand her frustration. It was like gridlock gridlock at a neighborhood yard sale i was there maybe 45 minutes went to like eight yard sales eight yard sales 45 minutes that just shows you how backed up everything was and when i go thrifting or yard selling i don't want to be stressful now i am looking for stuff and i am working but i want it to be pleasurable you know i don't want it to feel like my stress level is up to here like i'm working on wall street so i left I left and I found an estate sale on the way. So we're going to stop over here at this estate sale. Hopefully they don't have estate sale prices and maybe we can salvage the day somehow. Oh, okay. So it doesn't like a yard sale. This is not a yard sale. $3. Okay. It is a yard sale. All right. And they just want to be fancy with the word estate sale, which is fine by me because it looks like they've got quite a few things out here and it's quiet. It's the sounds of silence. Listen to that. Yeah, no screaming, no yelling, the way a yard sale should be. What are these? Hmm. Maybe just hobbyist pieces. they have stuff indoors so we're gonna walk in there and look I'm not sure what it is but we're gonna check it out they like it. And lots of breakables once again I know nothing about things like this Unless it has a maker's mark on it, I don't know what I'm looking at. Look at that. Wow. I'm looking at this bird clock. I think it makes sounds like the birds, but I'm not sure. But I'm not getting any internet access out here. beautiful just to sit around as decor it's so beautiful and that's a dollar okay and then that's a dollar okay eight nine 
And uh, so would you give me 15 for all of it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. We'll do that. 15 so, for everything. So much stuff okay. to take in. It's oh, Everything's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think skipping that monstrosity of a neighborhood yard sale paid off. And finding this little out-of-the-way estate sale. Because I love everything I picked out. Let's just hope it'll make us some money. about it, the happier I am that that community yard sale turned out to be a catastrophe yard sale because it led me to that wonderful estate sale. I picked up six items for $15. Now the broke frame, I will not be reselling. That is for my own personal use. I love doing gallery walls in my home. That is going to be put into one of them. So we're gonna back that out. I, I'm thinking it was maybe a dollar. So five items for $14 at the estate sale. I came across a lot of religious items during this estate sale. I'm assuming that the homeowners were Catholic because this is a crucifix. Now I thought it was just something you put up on the wall, which you can put up on the wall, but as I'm carrying it, I'm hearing something shaking and I'm thinking, what is loose? What is going on? Well, no, what it is, after I did a little bit more investigating once I got it home, this comes off and you put it in here like a stand. And inside there is a paper to read someone their last rites. So there are candles here. There is a bottle to put holy water in. I am assuming you put the candles right there and you light the candles. I don't know what else you use for this when it comes to Catholicism, but I think it's just beautiful. Just all the work on here. It is vintage. And from what I'm looking at on eBay, these go usually for about $35. The next thing I found is this Empire State Building New York City ashtray. Now some of the, I'm assuming like this is flashing on there, it's coming off just a little bit, but it still has a really good weight to it. It has a Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, and Rockefeller Center, made in Japan. So what is that, like the 50s or somewhere in that area? So mid-century modern, I think it looks so good. And even though it has a little bit of age to it, I still think maybe I could get, I don't know, $15, $20. Another religious item I found, this says Lords at the bottom, L-O-U-R-D-E-S. I believe this is Lady of Lords. Um, once again, I don't know a lot about Catholicism. I just Googled everything. The little gates open here. I'm assuming this is a nun and she's seeing Lady of Lords in an apparition maybe. I am not for certain. It is plastic, made in France, but I'm thinking I could probably get anywhere between $15 and $20. How many of you had the baby Ben clock when you were growing up? I had one in my bedside. It had, it was black though. This is orange. Never seen one in orange. These are the loudest. Actually, I think it's not loud enough. Loudest alarm clocks you could ever get. This will wake you up for certain. Now this, it will, it will tick for a little bit and then it stops. It ticks for a little bit and then it stops. I'm thinking it hasn't been overwound, but I think it needs to be cleaned. That's what I'm thinking. I'm still gonna sell it. Someone may wanna open it up and try to get it working again. Some of these were going for almost $100. I don't think I'm gonna get that much for this because it doesn't, oh, there it goes clicking again. Wait, did you hear that? It's not like a Timex, you know, take a licking and keep on ticking. But it's made in the USA and it is beautiful. This is from the collection um bright super bright I, I don't remember i'll pop it up on the screen the little thing i found about it but the orange is spectacular it's almost like an ombre the way it just looks like flames almost so pretty but i'm thinking i could probably get maybe 30 35 dollars now these clogs are not going to get me a lot of money you see a lot of these on ebay i just couldn't leave them behind for some reason. I love the design on these. And the gentleman was telling me that someone who was a friend of their family, I believe, who was from France, brought these over from Holland. And they are so beautiful. Now, what I wanna know, do, do, people, do people really wear these? I mean, I know they're shoes. I mean, I know they're shoes. They're clogs, made in Holland. But do people actually wear these? And are they easy to wear? All right, 
things I do for YouTube. Oh, these are huge. These are huge. Wait, maybe, maybe I got the hang of them. Wait, they're just not staying on my feet right. Okay, maybe, maybe. Well, I guess I just answered my own question. Since the yard sale and estate sale wasn't, you know, like hitting gold, we're gonna go into the thrift store. The only sales going on today are the clothing. Get 12 pieces of clothing. I think it said $6, so we will head over there. But we're gonna head into all of the knickknacks first and all of the home decor. A lot of this looks familiar from the last time I was in here. This is not a very large thrift store, so things really don't cycle out of here quickly, but they do get some very interesting things in here. That's pretty. I cannot make out that name. I, I still don't know what that says. And we're gonna use my best friend, Google Lens. It looks like it's Vintage Patronelli Oro Oronzo Ceramic Bird Pitcher, about $35. And the price is five. Hmm, I'm gonna think about it. Okay. I don't like to shop for myself when I'm out thrifting or sourcing, you know, to buy stuff to resell, but I like this. And I do collect blue and white. It has a little tiny chip on there, but not bad. It's a dollar. I think I'm gonna get it just to add to my collection of blue and white. Okay, this is something I've never seen before. A Domino's pizza ashtray. Why? Okay, one listed for 17, one sold for 13. And this is like $3, hmm. All right, we'll keep it in the cart and think about it. Right here is everything I have found. Remember, it is 12 pieces for $6. I don't know what happens if you go over 12 pieces. They put you in jail. Okay, that's six pieces. All right, let's see if we can go for 12. picking 12 pieces of clothing up for six dollars so what's that like 50 cents a piece amazing deal now none of these are really worth sharing they're just bread and butter items that should sell pretty quickly they're nothing that's gonna you know get me a million dollars but i do want to share one with you this right here is lizard lick towing and recovery they had, they had, I don't think it's still on, a TV show where they would, you know, pick up cars, repo them and everything else. But it is here in North Carolina. They call it Lizard Lick, North Carolina, which I think is really Wendell, North Carolina. I watched a few episodes back in the day, but the color of this along with the graphics, and there's none listed, I think should really sell this for a pretty good price. Also too, whenever I was a transportation supervisor, we had a driver who actually knew these people and would go to their shop and get items like this signed. If I had only known to have done that years ago, I probably could have sold those for quite a bit of money because you don't see a lot of this merchandise on eBay. So for this, I'm hoping to get maybe 60 to $75. And we only spent 21 over at the estate sale and the thrift store, leaving us with $179 that we can use for the rest of the month of May to find items to flip for a profit. If you wanna catch up on my Starting From Zero series, I'll leave that playlist right here. And if you just enjoy thrifting videos in general, I'll leave one right here I think you might like. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.